Hi and welcome to another video from Divine by Design. Today I'm going to be looking at how to remove shellac safely yourself at home. Now I did debate for a little while about doing this video because I'm not one to endorse um, taking off professional or using professional products if you're not professionally trained. However I am aware that there are certain occasions when you do need it taken off and you can't get back to the salon for whatever reason. So this is for those times. This will not compare to when you go to your professional technician. Naturally they've been trained to remove this. We use a shellac nourishing remover which is quicker than pure acetone and it's a lot more gentle on the natural nail and it leaves your nails beautifully hydrated. We also use the professional wraps. It can either be the foil wraps or you can use the CND wraps. But what I'm doing today is I'm going to show you how to remove the shellac using what you can purchase from your local shop and chemist. First, I've decanted it down as this bottle, but this is pure acetone. You can normally pick this up from your chemist for a couple of pounds. It'll come in a little medicine bottle, but that's what you're going to need. You cannot use acetone nail polish remover. People have come back to me saying that they've been told they can do that. You can't. It needs to be pure acetone. Here we have just some good quality kitchen foil that I have chopped into some rough squares. It does have to be good quality kitchen foil because if you go for the cheap stuff it will tear really easily. And finally a couple of regular cotton pads is we're just going to chop these up. Right once you've done this take your tin foil and here we just have my shellac that's been on nearly two weeks now. Soak your little pad with acetone and pop it securely onto the nail. Now it is very important that it is completely touching the nail. If it is not touching the nail, it will not work. Shellac has tiny tunnels that run through it, so you need the pad touching the nail so that the acetone can make its way through the tiny tunnels and into the base of the nail. Make sure it's secure, nice and snug. We're gonna do this to the rest of the nails now, but before we do that, once you have done the first wrap, set a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, this is all five fingers done. Now, I'll explain why it's crucial that your timer is set for 10 minutes from the first one. Because some people, when they've come into the salon and said to me that, oh, they were told they could remove it at home, and it's not come off as easily as they thought, it's been a situation whereby they've said, oh, I'll just give it another couple of minutes, I'll just give it another five, make sure I've got it off really well. It only takes 10 minutes for the acetone to work through the tiny tunnels in the shellac to get to the base coat and release from the natural nail. If you leave it any more than that, the acetone will start to evaporate and then the shellac will start to re-adhere to your nail. So strictly set your 10 minute timer, leave them for 10 minutes and we'll come back in a moment. So we've waited 10 minutes now and they're ready to be removed. So what we're going to do is we'll start, before you remove it, give it a good wriggle to make sure you're moving off any shellac. Now, just to show you, taking off the shellac on one hand has started to lift the shellac on the other for me. So you leave that alone, as you can see here too. We leave that alone and we'll remove that in just a moment. So I'm just gonna start on this one, give it a good rub. And as you can see, most of the shellac's come off. Now we are not going to scrape with the orange wood stick. We are going to gently flake off in a thing that's remaining. So you can see there's no pushing involved. Now. If, like me, you've left it a couple of minutes longer than you should have done. And if there's nothing else coming off, take a cotton wool pad and apply some acetone. Now, just to say, if you're struggling the first couple of times you do this to actually use cotton wool that is split in half, cut it into quarters each pad and just leave it as a quarter. Okay, here we go. Now, as you can see, it looks a little bit dehydrated. That is normal with the acetone. What you can do is use a good quality conditioner. I'll show you in a minute how to do that. But then you work away along the other nails. Give it a good wriggle. And remove, as you can see there. Just give a gentle flake. No scraping. Nothing forceful, because that is when your natural nails get damaged. You do not need to be forceful with shellac. You do not need to buff your nails before it's applied and you do not need to scrape it off when you remove it. So again, just give them a really good rub. As you can see there, a tiny bit left on it. 
and just continue this along all the nails. Okay, once you've done all five fingers, you should be sorted. You will notice your nails will look a little dehydrated. That is normal with the acetone. It gives them a sort of white appearance. So what you just need to do is get a good quality cuticle conditioner. For example, CND Soul Oil. Now, if you go to a CND technician, they should have these available to purchase in little pinkies, they're called. They're like miniature bottles. So just to demonstrate, this is after removal, just following the guidelines I've said, and as you can see, it's all off. You have to excuse my poorly injured fingers though. So that's all removed, all fine, no damage, and in perfect condition. And finally, just remember, if you want your nails to look beautiful, your nail technician can only do so much, even using the best quality products and taking their time with your nails. Ultimately, it's down to you to look after them. So remember to treat your nails as jewels, not tools.